You know, as the one that has the honor to officiate your wedding, allow me to express also, I don't believe in luck, or chance, or coincidence. I believe in purpose. This marriage was meant to happen. It's a good purpose. And just give yourself some time going to continue to reveal itself to this good purpose. But the main reason you're standing here is because of love. And that is the best reason to change your marriage. Love. So let's think about this word for a moment. For you see, it is love that's going to keep this marriage strong. And I believe the word deserves a few moments of thought. Three types of love between individuals. There's a love that says, I will love you if. Doesn't work. Love with conditions. Then we have another one that says, I will love you because of. No good. Love with conditions. Finally, we have one that says, I will love you in spite of this one works. However, let me warn you, very demanding. But it works. An unconditional love. 
This is a love where I hope both to be true to express in this marriage. Your love, unconditionally, no strings attached, it's an ongoing love. It's not a selfish love. In fact, if you commit yourself to this love, you're going to find out it's a sacrificial love. It's going to take a lot of sacrifice, but it's worth it. And it works. So if you don't change the commitment to both, to this marriage, and to this love, to make it work. Because the flowers are Turn around, face each other. Kiss it in hand. This afternoon, in good times and in bad, and sick and sad as hell, or rich or poor, or walk with other friends, partner, lover, provider, protector, husband. You take her as your wife. I do. Two chances that I feel I like that. <laughs> Let me ask some rings. Now these rings will seal this commitment. But at the same time, they're symbols. They symbolize love, an unbroken love, an eternal love, a love that you're about to commit for one another. My hope is that you view these rings on a daily basis. And they remind you of this commitment. Turn around, face each other. Take each other's hand. You play the ring first. Put it on hand. Take each other's hands. I want both of you to repeat a few words with me. Sir, you go first. Look at her. Say her name. Haley. I give to you my promise. I give to you my promise. That from this day forward. That from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. With the spring. With the spring. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I have no greater gift to give. I have no greater gift to give. I promise. I promise. I shall do my best. I shall do my best. I shall always try. I shall always try. I feel so honored. I feel so honored. To call you my wife. Call you my wife. Jacob, I give to you my promise. I give to you my promise that from this day forward, that from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. With this ring, with this ring, I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I have no greater gift to give. I have no greater gift to give. I promise. I promise. I shall do my best. I shall do my best. I shall always try. I shall always try. I feel so honored. I feel so honored. All you, my husband. You call my husband. Well, in a few moments, it's going to become reality. <laughs> husband and wife. Congratulations again. And two people in love, but both of you made good choices. Just do me a favor. And do yourselves a favor. Don't ever take this love for granted. And don't allow anybody, anyone, or anything to come between the two of you. And I'm talking about family, friends, money, beliefs, children, music. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just playing about that part. <laughs> you know, true love is hard to find. And I'm sure both of you are well aware of this fact already. Right?
by the authority given to me by the state of Nevada, it is my pleasure, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mm -hmm.